Johnny's Burn has been uh, quietly doing good things. You know, uh, it was unfortunate he went all the way to Ottawa with Northern Blizzard, and James kind of had him in a in a couple of blind switches. It's just the way the race p turned out. But uh, from what I could see, I think Northern Blizzard's sitting on a big mile. I've been saying that for a bit. So those of you out there that are trying to read between the lines and figure out who you're going to bet this week, I'll be very quite honest with you. If it looks like he can win going into Mohawk, I assume Mohawk this week. I certainly think he's definitely worth a look. So, uh, Johnny's Barn, uh, the biggest news out of Johnny's Barn this week was the sale of Mischievous Rose. Uh, Johnny McKinnon has done a great job training the filly down. Now, uh, also um, managing her and putting her in a position where, obviously, some uh, pretty affluent eyes were watching her and um, ended up with a sale on Mischievous Rose. So, Mischievous Rose will enter the determination, Luke Blayburn. Uh, Sherdy did enter the burn, but she'll enter under his banner to race in her next start. So congratulations to the owners and a great job by all, especially Johnny and obviously notably Mario on the way he drove the filly uh, and managed her in that race the other night. So uh, top marks all around, A pluses all around to the filly, the train, to the driver. Everybody a great job done on Mischievous Rose. So as I said, March, Arches Rainbow, I thought she was similar to a Mischievous Rose and we had her on the same path, the same program. It didn't work out for her. She did have mucus. She did have a few flecks of blood and some redness in her throat the other night. So I did exactly what I told you I was going to do. Took all of her shoes off. There was another filly along the same line. Rosie's Masterpiece, mucus, flecks of blood, redness, turned them both out in the field. Now luckily they didn't kill each other. They were happy to be out together in the grass and they turned into friends and sisters so they'll be out in the field for a while blue bayou deal races tuesday she may end up here in the united states of america on wednesday as we are eyeing a kentucky start for some of those fillies is that screen blurry is it just my glasses eh, whatever um blue bayou deal so good luck to them on tuesday stretch her out She's coming to uh, Northfield. We'll probably race her in Kentucky a couple of times in the Incentive B program. Those races go for 20000 a race. I think the final's for fifty or 60000 It's turned into a pretty good program. We'll see how that shakes down. Uh, Century Invictus. Johnny did tell me he was coughing a bit last week, but he trained okay. We'll see how he is this week. He's picked to win in the grassroots, so good for them. Good luck. Mischievous Rose, as I said, is leaving, uh, has left, and has joined the Luke Blayburn. Um, that little snap is Ollie Be Quiet, in case you're wondering. Uh, Northern Blizzard is sitting on a big mile. I can't wait to see him race this coming week. Resolute Bay raced good the other day, finished fifth, trotted two minutes. Excited to see him race. Twinkle in her eye came around. Both the betters delights came around when we hoped they would. She looked great last week, and she is in a she is in a grassroots event this week coming up. And then obviously will to win Hanover. She should be completely healed now from that line. We're going to get her rechecked. She'll head likely to the field this week. So that's Johnny's burn. Again, some big news out of that burn. Great job by them. Great job by everybody. Mario's having a great year. Harry's having a great year. Jason. Everybody is having a great year under the stable banner. I can't wait to see. Hey. That's it. Give him back to her immediately. Ah, it's been a great year, and I can't wait to see how the rest of the summer is going to turn out. Be back in a minute. We still got the small birds, and then I'm all done. Take care.